solar panels degrade over time. This results in less power being produced from the same amount of sunlight and increased mismatch losses. PVCIS has a degradation model for the PV modules that calculates these effects. You can run a simulation on the PV system for a specific year while taking into account the degradation and increased mismatch. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use this tool. After starting PVCIST, start by clicking the button Grid Connected. In this tutorial, we will use the demo Residential Project in Geneva. Click on Load and choose the Demo Residential System at Geneva project. Then in the Variant tab, choose the variant VC2 Detailed Losses. The degradation of the PV module is considered as a system loss. You can define the degradation parameters in the Detailed Losses Aging dialog. Click on the button Detailed Losses Aging. In this window, activate the option Uses in Simulation if it's not yet done. In a PV system, the main parts subjected to aging are the PV modules themselves and the increasing mismatch between modules. The degradation factor indicates the amount by which the PV module efficiency is expected to be reduced for each year of the service. You can find the global degradation factor and the mismatch degradation factor in the parameters in simulation section. These values are for an individual PV module for the specified year of simulation. In the model section, you can define the PV module aging parameter per year. The first value is the average degradation factor of the PV module. This parameter is the annual average factor of the aging rate of the module. Typically, a consistent degradation rate for silicon technology is around 0.3 to 0.5% per year. In this example, we shall fix the value at 0.5% per year. Note that the global degradation factor for an individual PV module changes when the value of the average degradation factor is modified. For the first year of simulation, only half of the average degradation factor is applied to the global one. The average degradation factor is hence always evaluated at mid-year. Next, you can define the IMP and the VMP RMS dispersions. These parameters represent the variance of the MPP current and voltage. A low RMS dispersion rate means that the variance does not change significantly over time, meaning that the PV module all age in the same way. A large value would correspond to a more inhomogeneous aging of the PV modules. Here we shall define an RMS dispersion of 0.6% per year for the current and 0.5% per year for the voltage. When you modify the RMS dispersion, you observe that the mismatch degradation factor in parameters in simulation changes as well. The mismatch degradation factor is the accumulated mismatch loss as computed by the Monte Carlo model. The Monte Carlo method is a procedure that uses randomly generated numbers to solve a problem. In our case, this means that PVCIST will generate a series of randomly aged PV modules, assemble them to strings and calculate the resulting mismatch loss. Repeating this a number of times yields an average mismatch loss, which is displaced in the group Monte Carlo values. The Monte Carlo values computed by PVCIST are displayed in the Store the Monte Carlo Values section. Since this is a random process, the results may change for each simulation. Activate the Keep Calculated Mismatch Values if you prefer to fix the values. When this option is activated, the values are recalculated every time that the parameters change. Even when you exit the dialog detail losses, the values that are displayed will be the same. If you want to store the aging parameters defined in the model, click on Save as Model. The next time, you can reuse the model by clicking on Read Model. The same parameters will be used in your next simulation. In the Used for this evaluation section, Information on the strings configuration of the variant and the Monte Carlo calculation can be found. In this variant, the subarray consists of 15 modules in series and two strings in parallel. For the Monte Carlo calculation, 100 trials were done. Random evaluation is executed over 10 years since we defined the simulation year at 10. The information on the average mismatch loss is the same as the one in parameters in simulation. 
The model warranty section contains values usually specified by the PV module manufacturer. These values are not stored with the PV module properties in the pan file. They have to be defined in this dialog. PVSYST pre-fills the fields with fixed default values, and you should verify that this corresponds to the PV modules you will be using. This value should be understood as the worst case degradation for an individual PV module and should not be confused with the degradation rate of the PV system. In this example, we shall define the warranty of year zero at 97%. We then choose a linear interpolation of the warranty for an interval of 10 years. These different factors are displayed in the graph on the top right. The basic degradation is represented with the blue line and the orange line is included in the increasing mismatch losses. The module warranty is then represented with the black line in the graph. The black curve should be below the blue curve due to safety margins. You can choose to represent the evolution of this value with a curve or in steps. The graph also illustrates a relative degradation with respect to a new PV module over a number of years. The blue line represents the global degradation of the PV module. This should translate to the decrease of power output of a PV module over time. The orange line is the degradation taken into account the distribution of IMP and VMP. This distribution increases with time and causes an increase in mismatch within strings. The green circle on the curve represents the total aging loss for the year of simulation. You can also display the degradation losses over a number of years. This time you will see an increasing curve due to the escalation of losses as the year advances. Once the aging losses parameters are defined, click on the OK button. You can now run the simulation. The module degradation loss can then be found in the loss diagram. It is the first loss happening after the PV conversion and is located right on top of the lower part of the diagram. In PVSYST, you can also have the possibility to run a multi-year simulation along with the aging of the PV modules.